Welcome everybody, how y'all doing today? Thank you for joining me. Kamerkel, congrats on grabbing today's first redeem. Hope you're well, hope you're having a good day. Good luck with the editing if you're still listening. Hello to you, welcome in Kitty, Kian, my Koshi. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Let's go ahead, I forgot to get my captions on, we'll go ahead and do that. Today is like day six in a row of us playing Death Stranding, and honestly, I've just been having a good time with this game. It seems like a good chill game that y'all don't mind hanging out for. Gives us lots of room to talk, um, makes you feel like you're making progress in the game, so I'm enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're looking forward to more. All right, let's go ahead. Pause this music. We'll get it started up. I got captions. I got stream up. Uh, looks like everything is good and ready to go. Death Stranding it is. Lou Julia, welcome in. Be here lurking, doing some Baldur's Gate 3. Well, I hope you're enjoying Baldur's Gate 3. I haven't gotten to that game yet. Uh, maybe we'll look into doing it in the future, but anyways, it's great to see you. I hope you're well. Oh, and you've been streaming it too. Very nice. I wonder if we might be on, uh, different schedules, because I hadn't seen you streaming lately. Okay, so I did a little research. This song is such a bop. Thank you, Striker. How you doing? It's got that thick, crunchy bass line from that Rickenbacker bass. I love it. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I did some research, and uh, the Collector apparently is a little hard to level up at this point in the game. And that's the person I was trying to level up to build my next road segment. Um, apparently that's somewhat difficult to do until you've done some other main story missions. So we will go ahead with a little more main story and try to get that advanced. Um, hold on, I have a pop-up over my screen. There we go. Epic is bad about pop-ups. Alright, what do we got on us right now? Um... Oh, and also, uh, we were supposed to look for mail from the Collector. We used to have things called magazines. Back before The Stranding, there was a medium known as The Magazine, a collection of articles and pictures printed on paper. Some magazines had hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of readers. At the height of their popularity, it wasn't rare for people to get all of their information and news from them. Journalists and editors would collect data, conduct interviews, and compile them into weekly or monthly issues, and readers would devour them with relish. My own father was the editor of a popular magazine, one that published hints and strategies for beating popular video games. Sadly, not long before The Stranding, digital media rose to prominence, and that spelled the end for print publications. Thanks to the internet, anyone could produce content, and anyone could consume said content. People became their own editors, their own curators of truth, as it were. But my father was always one to swim against the tide, and so he stuck with print, in spite of the writing on the wall. They called him the last editor-in-chief. Over the years, he amassed a massive number of magazines and newspapers, all of which I was free to peruse growing up. After he passed away, I took up the mantle and continued expanding the collection. But now, in this post-stranding world, we have the Chiral Network. It is incredible technology, but will it be no different than the internet in the end? I, for one, have no desire to see it descend into a cesspool of abuse and misinformation. If nothing can be done to prevent that, then I want nothing to do with it. Thumbs down. That might be the first time we've received a thumbs down emoji from somebody in this game. <laughs> Brainstorm Wander, welcome in. I hope you're well. <laughs> Mike Koshi, what's up? How you doing? I hope those meats you're marinating are going well.
All right. Uh, let us do... So, yeah, it's this location here I've been trying to get the auto paver up, but I need to do more stuff with the collector, and apparently he is hard to level up until I've done some further missions down here. So, once I've done some missions down here... Oh, that's weird. My mouse is on both monitors right now. How is that working? Oh, it's probably just in this map screen. When to go change the water for your frog and you woke her up from her hibernation and you feel so bad. If it's a true hibernation, uh, you won't really do it accidentally, so I wouldn't feel too bad. It's probably more like a brumation type state. So yeah, we should do a uh, we should do a mission for the weather station, basically. Valdez, welcome in. How diddly do to you two. All right, yeah, let's do some main story missions. Nobody knows if the Sonoran Desert Toad actually hibernates, but she was underground for a month, so you're calling it that. Fair enough. <laughs> nice, I just got 3,000 likes for uh, for players using the road that I rebuilt. I love how this game rewards you for investing in infrastructure. Oh, standard orders. Do we have any? We do not have any going to the collector. We do have 60 kilograms going to the weather station, but I don't know about that right now. Can I carry it on my back? Maybe, maybe not. JJ, welcome in. How you doing? What is that emote? Thumbs up. Okay, I see. Hope you're well. We're just discussing the game plan for today. We're going to have to go without roads for a little bit. At least as far as I can tell. Let's send some high-protein edible plants to the Elder. All good, unwinding, having some burgers for dinner. That sounds great. All right, now let's, uh, let's go in our private locker and... Where is my Cairo monitoring thingamajig? Hey, Christopher, welcome in. Hope you're well. Is it on the bike? No, where did it go? Well, your work booked your trip for Nashville. You're excited. Very nice. I hope it goes well. I've been to Nashville once, but I don't remember much about it. Oh, that's right. The new order is at the weather station. It's not to the weather station. What's what everyone says. The flight options are atrocious, but you're sure it will be okay? Lots of layovers. Alright. Let's try to take these food rations. We'll take him to the weather station and pick up a new job there. Nashville is hard to remember if you're not into country music. See, I've been to Nashville, and I've been to Pigeon Forge, and I've been to somewhere else in Tennessee. And they all kind of blend together to me. I don't remember which one is which. I think I remember a little of Nashville. The times, too, getting home so late, probably just take the next day off right. That makes sense. Alright, we're going to do this without a trike.
we should be able to carry this pretty successfully on foot. I also have the floating carrier if we need that. Order of time. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Putting them feet to work. Sam about to get his steps in. You're right. Hey, the truck that I left is still there. That's an interesting detail. Weapons restrictions lifted. Yeah, but what about your mushroom? How you doing, Love Glutton? Nice, our bond with BB increased. So the gravity le is less on Mars, right? This is Mars, right? <laughs> it does kind of look like Mars, but I don't know about all the water. I don't know if they found water on Mars yet. I think they just found ice. Assumed they were terraforming. You know, that's a good point. Speaking of, I want to play the uh, Planet Crafter again sometime. That game where you terraform a planet. I've heard they've added all sorts of things. Insects and drones and all that sort of stuff. That might be a good chill stream game one day. <sighs> Last time I played that was Christmas 2022. Or is this Earth? Oh yeah, this is definitely Earth. I thought you were memeing. Nope, this is Earth. In fact, it's the United States. Doing good, you as well? I am doing well, thank you. Also just waiting for a buddy to go fight democracy with. Uh, so not sure how long you can hang. Wait, you're gonna fight democracy or you're gonna fight for democracy? Because those are two very different things. But yeah, no worries. Enjoy the fight. Show those bugs and or robots what for. New America was here, just assumed they were manifest destining it up. I mean, we are expanding westward. How, how did that happen? Sorry, BB. Hey, hey, Kev. Hope you're well also. BB looks happy. There we go. Someone's happy. Honestly, how's this weather report work? Because it just seems like it is raining all the time. You know? It just seems like it's never not raining here. Playing the stream sound through your headset and your cat is uh, not thrilled about not hearing what's going on. Is your cat used to listening through the sound bar? He loves watching the stream, feels like we have guests. I'm glad to be considered a guest in your house by your cat.
Okay, let's see if we can wait under the timefall shelter and see what happens. Past time and timefall shelter. The weather has not cleared. It's a high honor. He barely likes you being there <laughs> half the time. Uh, you know, I can't help but to wonder if Death Stranding has a dual meaning. I mean, from what I understand from not playing the game, it has to do with something with the beaches or death or maybe the in-between. I'd say those are all generally themes about what happens in this game. I'd say that's a pretty good understanding. Why does my tablet say I'm offline? Stream manager, are you okay? Yeah, my Twitch app says I'm offline, but I know better than to believe that. just that bees oats island without the advanced robot wait what is that maybe you are offline and this is all coming from <laughs> inside the house i like how that doesn't even make sense today what do you mean the phone call is coming from inside the house what does that mean fun fact in swedish strand means beach stranding is in your meaning bleaching also the beach embankments of death, really? Huh. Sorry, that was a call out. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Bezos. Bezos. Yeah, that's right. You remembered that a lot better than I did. Man, this road kind of sucks to travel. Can't wait until we can uh, build an actual road to connect all of it. Sorry for the autocorrect. No worries. Where is the... You know, we're not far off from making a road here. The biggest thing we need is 1900 ceramics. I don't know if we have that at the weather station, but it might be worth making a road for this portion. Man, some areas it just rains all the time. What is this? Oh, it's a little mushroom. I'll give you a like for that. You called what a little mushroom? Okay. 
Kev, you would be right. I also don't have that letter on my keyboard. Nearest town has a sister city in Sweden and runs a banner with that phrase across the main street entering town. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, it's a U2. I'm sure that's not even correct. How's my cargo doing? Okay. Containers are still holding up. Pride myself on not having a French keyboard. A German one is okay. What about that is French? I think it's pronounced like eh. Eh. You're in Minnesota, so like every other city has a sister city in Sweden. I don't know if anywhere near me has a sister city. Nice. Literally between two cities that both have sister cities. I mean, that's pretty cool though. Both in Sweden. What it actually means though. Eh sound is definitely more on the right way to pronounce it. You did well. Oh, thank you. Eh. And then if it's the A with the little circle on top, it's kind of like oh, right? Or aw. It's the long A sound. Did hear about the Minnesota Swedes. Been thinking of visiting at some point for fun. Alright. Uh, we're going to deliver these emergency food rations. Delivering cargo. Thanks for coming. It means a lot. Did pronounce it more correctly than you <laughs> imagine? Okay. And don't tell me it's tender love and care. I mean, there's not even one single scratch. That's incredible. French keyboard uses the Azerty layout. Swiss keyboard will use Quirts. We use QWERTY. Yeah, QWERTY all the way. I don't want to be any different from what I already know and love. Please don't make me change. Oh yeah, I got a Sawsome rank. Oh, here we go. Gonna get so many levels again. Okay, not that many. Here, I got you something. Consider it an expression of my gratitude. Metals. Lightweight 1000. Very nice. Let me see something. Well, good. Good work. New order available. 
How many uh, ceramics do we have? Only 762. Okay. Um, see, that's not really going to do it. Maybe we do drop off the metals and some chiral crystals that we have. To the bridge, and then maybe somebody will come along and finish the ceramics. Did well with the first two extra letters. Let's see how you do with the last one. Um, so there's E, eh, O. Oh. I don't know, is it like U? Uh? It's just a total guess. You know what? Let's claim some ceramics. We'll uh, we'll put 320 ceramics into the road. Man, look at all these road likes I'm getting. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna. Okay, I almost fell bad. All right, so I need to head. Ooh, the auto paver is quite a way. Let's set our direction marker. There we go. Also like two or three generations away from your great-grandfather who came over here from Sweden so you really suck at language. You know, you probably can't guess just based on my complexion and my red beard, uh, but I am largely English and Irish with a little Nordic. That, that's like 90% of my DNA. And the large part of it is English-Irish. It's more like, uh, but you... Like you had a brain fart and forgot what you were about to say. Uh. I mean, I feel like I was pretty close then. Interesting genealogies are always fun. Mine is very much not varied. interesting than yours. Maybe other people are always more interesting to us than we are to ourselves. You know? Never looked into yours properly as far as you know. It's just lots of Welsh and some Irish and Italian here and there.
Don't know who to believe in your family anymore. Either you keep your history well, or you're a bunch of liars, because apparently you're like half of Western Europe. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the hydrate. Long been curious about what your exact DNA makeup looks like, uh, but then again, that recent le leak gives you pause. Yeah, so my mom and I have both given DNA uh, for, like, disease testing because of uh, some of the stuff that we have um, to be put in databases to check for certain types of genetic uh, issues. But I've never done, like, a 23andMe or anything like that. I know it because my mom has done one. Which, you know, if they have my mom's DNA, they have a lot of my DNA. <laughs> Just how it works. But, yeah, I've never done with one of those services. Had to do a uh, book report on your heritage in sixth grade. You were just sitting there listening to your parents and grandma like bullshit. <laughs> you have a lot of known extended family, so chances are at least some of them have done DNA tests, so you're probably already in a leak. Isn't that just our modern world? Isn't that just the way it goes? Okay, now when I come back, I expect to find this structure finished. I put a lot into it. I'd like to think other people are going to do the same. I don't know how it picks which songs, or how they chose which songs to include. Which little jingles. My stuff is going to get ruined. Yeah, we might need to uh, recycle some of these things. Sounded like London Bridge. Yeah, exactly. Building the road, forming your own bridge. I guess that's true. All you know is Sam is all our family. <laughs> Bring us our DNA samples or something. I mean, he's carried sperm and eggs before, so yeah, sort of. I don't know if everyone heard, but there was a recent major leak at 23andMe, and it sounded like malicious people were targeting Jewish or Chinese people. Yeah, I did hear something about that. I don't know if, uh, if I ever read conclusively what they determined, or if they figured out what the data was used for or anything like that, but it sounded pretty malicious. Imagine using all them smarts for evil, the extra energy it must take, yeah. Imagine you didn't do a test, but some unknown relative of yours did, so you were in the database and didn't even know. 
About having ancestry people are targeting you on. Yeah. Pretty messed up. your smarts to time perfect toots on commercial street. <laughs> yeah, Sam, welcome in. No, I don't know what a zipline is. thought before 19th century only the strongest survived in wars and such so think about it you probably somewhere in your family you probably have some medieval knight or warrior or some kind being able to survive and reproduce maybe i mean there were there were a lot of regular workers and stuff too that's how you know uh those societies were kept up it couldn't all be the warrior class and especially the more noble parts yeah no worries welcome in i haven't seen a zipline yet in this game A lot of slaves, yeah, depending on the society, definitely. EP? What do you mean, EP? Like, to think there is some... What is that? Carlene? Soldier energy in your line. This is something I'm not familiar with. All right, let's recycle some stuff. Nice, we got a little more ceramics. Those will be useful. Um, let's make... One hematic grenade. Oh, episode three. And, uh, can we not make a container repair spray? Oh, what do I need here that I don't have? Chiral crystals. Oh, because I took all of them out. Okay. Carolina is what the Swedish soldiers were called during your empire days, I see. Do I have any orders that go to the collector? I've got this one to the Timefall farm. None to the collector. Assuming there was no funny business is like assuming I'm not going to give my cat a tiny slice of cheese. All right, let's uh, let's move ahead to the Timefall Farm.
Hey, purple, welcome in. Accept order. How's it going? It's going all right. How you doing? Good to see you. It's just a teeny bite. It was Havarti. I like Havarti. Trying to hang in there. We'll keep on keeping on. February has been painful. I'm sorry. I hope things get better for you. That our Carolinar soldier units. Our Empire days were interesting. Yeah, it's not something we were really uh, taught about in school, I don't think. some chat about Helldivers. Were you thinking of doing a stream on that with someone? Uh, probably not a stream. I've just been playing with friends offline. Now, I mean, if I was approached by somebody to do a stream on Helldivers, I might do it. That might be fun, but it's not something I'm actively planning to do. Just been playing it. Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger, but we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We I approach you to be considered a friend so we can maybe play Helldivers. Uh, yeah, so right now I've just been playing with specific friends. Um, but I think definitely I'll put a call out in the Discord if I think I'm gonna get online. And, uh, I'd be open to playing with people then. Like, it wouldn't be every time I played Helldivers, but if I got into it and played some more, I'd definitely be open to that. I'm only level, like, 5 right now, so I definitely need some more time in there to unlock some things. We also, in the Discord, we have, like, a looking for group section. Um... So if you wanted to post in there to look for anybody who might play, if I'm not on stream and not playing with somebody, I might jump in if you uh, posted there. Be cool to see some gameplay with Kamurkle. Yeah, I think Kamurkle said that she doesn't plan to stream it at all because it's so hectic, um, and Kamurkle really likes being able to talk to chat and keep up with chat, and Helldivers is just really, really chaotic for that. Well, welcome to getting my VOD muted again. One day, mayhaps, you will accept me past the veil of illusion into this elusive friend group. <laughs> I just don't want to call out, like, specific people that I'm playing with, but it is not many right now. But yeah, we'll talk in the Discord for sure. I'd be down to play some more. Of the music moments in this game, they use it well, it's true. Yeah. 
Speaking of, though, dude just jumped in chat, so I'm gonna go get some Liberty Leaf stream chillin', though. Thank you. Appreciate the lurk. Good luck spreading freedom and democracy and liberty. You show them what for. Send them a couple extra on my behalf. Chat a whole bunch be well, same to you. Now see, now this place is so chill. Wait, mules? That's not chill. Nope, don't like that. Oh, jinxed it. <laughs> Mules suck, definitely. How did they know where I was? Place is so chill, one second later, enemies, yep. I love shooting him in the face with this. I don't know why, it's just so satisfying. Alright, where are we going? I thought this was the time fall farm, that's why I let my guard down. Okay, bring a truckload. Oh! That was so accurate. Shoot them all. Oh, you can't get them while they're hanging on? That's not cool. Hey, if you want me to steal your truck, I will. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, you drive away. Get out of here. Think you're gonna get my packages. What about this place is that these people's shelter is literally right next to a mule camp. Yeah, I totally let my guard down because I thought the uh, timefall farm was over by the mules. Alright, what does uh, Thomas want? Thanks for delivering the delivery bots, Sam. 
I heard you were headed to that Timefall farm down the way. Don't know if you heard, but rumor has it they've been brewing beer, maybe even using Timefall to speed up the process. I'd sure like to have a taste if it's true. And if they joined the Chiral Network, I'd be able to place an order with them, wouldn't I? Of course, you can't print beer, so I'll have to rely on you again to get it here. Pity the bots won't be able to enjoy it with me, but hey, guess that's a privilege only humans can enjoy, am I right? Anyway, I'm counting on you. Lots of likes. I guess I'm just built different. Nice. You've been awarded the title of Expert Transporter. Let nothing stand between you and your cargo's safe arrival. You've achieved bridge link grade 60. Now, your sync level with other players has increased. You can now make more strand contracts and upgrade cooperation requests. The period for which you can send likes has been increased to 10 seconds. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know Fragile, would you? If you see her, pass along a message for us. Tell her, thanks for saving our hides. If she hadn't stepped up, South Knots and our farm would have been wiped off the face of the earth. She's a hero. And you can tell her I said so. All oh, right, the network. Think you can get us online? Focus on your night shift. Have fun. Have a good one, Kev. Thanks for hanging. Wow, we're making it across America, aren't we? New strand established. So, Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor and cancel out their pulse with your own. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. Okay. Nice, we're on the network now. Using time to fall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but without the ability to predict time fall, the results have been less than stellar. The time fall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, 
We'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. A better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network, and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery term. All right, what do we have? Uh, first of all, let's recycle these ceramics. Got a Timefall Porter back to the distribution center south of Lake Knot City. I wonder... There's probably no places here we can rest and travel, are there? Hey, Cemetery Chick. Welcome in. Alright, let's deliver the special beer. Notice you were going live earlier today, but it didn't say hi. Hope your game is going well. No worries, Scanlan. It is going well. I hope you're doing well. Carry on back. Let's go. Thank you for your contribution. I'm gonna need new boots. Let's go ahead and make some. Here we go. All right, so that's new boots and enough, uh, enough spares to last us a while. Um, I'm curious, what's in the share locker? Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. You can access the share locker to collect it. Cybico! Eep. Eep indeed. How you doing, Biko? How you doing, friend? Uh, if you don't know Cybico... Give Saibiko a follow. Saibiko plays a variety of games, mainly focused on horror, but all kinds of stuff. Big Resident Evil fan, great artist, good friend, queen of the rats. What more can I tell you? Go check out Biko. Still enjoying Death Stranding? I am. We're making our little deliveries. We're building our roads. We're just having a good time. Couldn't have insured yourself better. <laughs> Hey, that's what I'm here for. Look, people are using the roads that we built. Life is good. Except for this rain that makes everything disintegrate. It's an attractive game, too. Just looks good. I 
All right, now I want to go around these mules. I want to head to the right. And I basically want to follow this all the way to the water line. Area looks so pretty, doesn't it? Actually, we want to follow this. Oh, I should have recharged my battery while I was there. That's not good. I mean, I've still got more than half of it, so I should have enough for a return trip. But... Wait, what did Kian do that they're getting the hammer? <laughs> Did I miss lore? Thinking about reloading your previous game on Alan Wake 2 when you add a lot of healing items and ammo. Thing is, you're afraid to because you don't know how far it will send you back in the chapter you're in. Yeah, you know, uh, if you're really stuck, sometimes that can be a good solution, but I understand. They farm here because this area gets a lot of time fall equals the crops grow, quick grow quickly, right? How do you even come up with a concept like time fall? Like, how does someone think, hmm, what if rain made things age? It's just so out there. This might not have been the smart way to go. Let's uh let's try to climb this hill. I might need to find a safe zone. Kojima is an eccentric guy for better and for worse most of the time for better though. Thank you for resubscribing, by the way. I think that said, did that say 19 months? That's just crazy to think about.
Got such a long way to go still. I hope this beer is worth it. Oh no, that's a big waterfall. There's no way I can go this way. This area's got nothing but rain for me. I hope my cargo's not too damaged. Ooh, container damage 78. That's not good. I don't think this beer is going to make it there in one piece. There's a timefall shelter over here if I can get to it. Tell they really wanted this uh, this part of the game to be a little more strenuous because of the way they cut you off from the distribution center and the roads. It was pretty smooth sailing before. Can you pet the baby? You can rock the baby. I don't want to do it right now in the rainfall because it's destroying my stuff. But you can rock the baby. You can also shake the baby. Yeah, you can. No acid rain. Not just acid rain. The rain makes things age. It's called time fall. So it's making my containers and stuff really old until they fall apart. Heard that stimulates brain development and makes them smarter. <laughs> so like the other kind of acid. Yeah, pretty much. Chocolate rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. I heard he streams now. He's on day streams? Yeah, I heard that. Heard he was an unsavory person, really? I haven't heard anything like that, so I won't contribute to anything of that nature, but... Is that the Cybico? It could be. It could be. Man, I wish I had gotten here sooner before my beer container were damaged. I'm trying to see if I can wait out the rain. I'm afraid this special beer may be a write-off. Pretty much chocolate rain. <laughs> Thank you, Sibiko. <laughs> Thank you for the clip.
Hey, the weather is cleared. Look at that. Anytime you're doing the good work out here. Thanks for the help. Can't wait for that to come up in a shack. Come on, Norman, we can do this. All right, up here to the weather station. Clip shoutouts are so wild, it's always the strangest random clip making you wonder why someone made it at all. Yeah, that's a big reason why I stopped doing them uh, during regular, like the course of regular streams. We use the clip shoutouts now, like when I go to the bathroom or something, uh, just to fill the void and you know, expose our friends. I just lost, just lost audio. Hold on. But. Uh, yeah, they, they really can be just the wildest stuff. It's back, good. Looking through uh, messages recently has taught you something. Context is extremely important. It's true. Sometimes you look back at something and you have no clue what the context was, and it's very confusing. So waiting for your masterpiece Kmerkle 2 clip to do that. Kmerkle's got a couple clips like that that may or may not come up during shoutouts. The only clip you ever see of me is uh, me wearing a wig. <laughs> I have so many clips. So many to choose from. There are so many, that's what I'm saying. You always see a clip of me dying in Frost Mod. Yeah, that's pretty great. I kind of miss Frost, low-key. Did you ever beat it? I did. I beat all of the base Frost content and I beat the Nuka World expansion. I think it was 465 deaths to beat the base game and like 530 something to beat uh, the, with the expansion. So it is my most deaths in any game so far. Second is Elden Ring. I think Elden Ring was 430 deaths, so Frost killed me more than Elden Ring did. What's crazier is I, I know people who do Frost permadeath. Can't believe you persevered through that. Honestly, it was fun. Like, I didn't just persevere, I wanted it. You know what I mean? I love that this game gives you so many positive affirmations. I really am incredible. I really don't know how I do it either. 
Persevered. It's pretty metal if you ask Death Clock. <laughs> I need to see, um... Did they do a final movie or a final season of Metalocalypse that wrapped up the uh, Doomstar Requiem? I need to see that. I think they did. Well, good luck to you, and take care of yourself. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Pretty sure they have a movie planned and then kept going with the show last you saw. Okay. Whatever it is, I need to see it. I watched so much of that in high school. Did one big last thing of a season. Okay. We want more. Honestly, I'm happy if they wrapped it up well. All you know is it's worth it and it never got bad. See, that's what I'm saying. They ended it on a... Or it was on a cliffhanger for so long. If they just closed out the cliffhanger and ended the story well, I'm happy. We got more time fall. Of course, I knew we would in this area. It's pretty much always time falling. I'm going this way to avoid the BTs. Since time always falling. Can it really be said to be falling? Totally sound like Squisgar when you speak English. <laughs> I mean, it's affected by gravity, so... Wait, is time affected by gravity? Is this some... something that I was not aware of? Is this like a big Einstein thing? Oh no, my special beer! Don't know gravity warps time. That's like basic black hole thing. I might have known it and just forgotten it. Yes. <laughs> Let us go to the foods libraries. Somebody abandoned this here. So I'm gonna... Gonna make use of it. Stretch would be more accurate. How did you even get the trike over here? I guess that's how. No thanks, I don't want any BTs. I just fail a standard order? Is that why I got a thing about how to reattempt them?
This can only be good, right? Come on. Come on. You can jump it. I know you can. I believe. There we go. Man, I expected this to be done by the time I got back. I put so much into this, and still other people haven't finished it. What is going on? I've always been explained to you, like, time and space are the X, and Y and gravity are wells on it. What do you mean, wells? Billy Goat Bike. Yeah, basically. Put a marble on a piece of paper. Oh, and weigh it down. I'm willing to admit my astrophysics knowledge is not that strong. I don't know for sure, but to you it seemed like that roads always needed to be like 80% completed by yourself no matter what. You know, in the uh, the first part of this area by Lake Knot City, a lot of roads were already done. But it seems like as I've started to do more roads, it might be like that. Probably just random chance. Music is so nice. Yeah, it uses a lot of licensed music. Sounds like Pink Floyd. Like not not the vocal tone. But the lyrics. The chord progression, the songwriting, it sounds like a Pink Floyd song. Except in a major key. Or at least with major tones. Might be ranting, but you always get caught up in the weird relationship between time and space and electricity and magnetism. It's weird to you that such powerful forces have pairings. Yeah, I guess I don't really know a lot about that. Bibi is loving it. ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo oh, down. Who do we have here? Decontaminating. Keep on keeping on. clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Keep on keeping on. Protons and electrons, but they don't like each other, you think? <laughs> they love each other, but can never touch. Wow, that's a powerful story. that could never be held apart by the universe. The kind of thing they write songs about. 
Soggy night shift brain is getting dizzy by all this science. I don't blame you. Me too. You bet to cry over subatomic particles? I don't know, are you? <laughs> you tell me. I'll take care of yourself. Good work. New order available. Please access to- Bet to write some fan fiction about Adams. Do it. I'll upvote it. Ah, there's a uh, junk dealer and a film director. Call it Mass Effect, get sued, ride the PR to fame. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Adams. Uh... The Valence Between Us. That's what it can be called. I might be able to take the reverse trike for this one. Across the Neutron. Oh no, my special beer was destroyed. Let's recycle some stuff then. Order assigned. Delivery parameters updated. Time limit. Not the special beer. Yeah, the special beer was destroyed by the rain. I can't believe I let it happen. That's heavenly apart. We've got lots of metals and a good amount of ceramics, so I could probably build these next two bridges if I could just get it connected. That's what we're going to work on today trying to get the connections. But what I'm going to work on right this moment is taking a short break. I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to run three minutes of ads. These disable our pre-roll ads for the next hour. When I come back, more deliveries, more connections, more roads. See you for it then. Appreciate you. What happened? How dare you? You muddled my plans. Just kidding. Are you done with the real violence? Hey, Where? no violence. Ends violence with violence. All right, now luckily I already absorbed some of these uh, mines up through here, so there should be fewer. Notice I didn't say none, I said fewer.
uh, raid message, uh, Blood Noctum Raid. Get it? Because vampires and blood. You get it. I'm funny. I can be clever. Uh, it's a Blood Noctum Raid. <laughs> Raid improv soul song. Every day we harvest souls, do da do da. Every day we harvest souls, oh do da day. <laughs> nice kid. Fucking, fucking hallway that I was having to deal with earlier. Your condition is pathetic. It's fucked up. Run. Say, Biko. Being so kind, running clips. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. Uh, now's a bad time. He'll be back for it later. <laughs> okay, he won't be back later. Uh, would you... Love that one. That one is great. Maybe I will expand the clips to like 20 seconds instead of 15. Gotta go now. Thank you so much, Biko. I appreciate you. Hope you have a good one. Y'all, check Saibiko out if you don't know her for real. Definitely do. Everybody else, thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you. Thank you for your contribution. Sam, it's fragile. But though he calls himself a junk dealer now, your client used to work in comms as a repairman. Could fix anything, from simple wireless terminals to integral parts of the civic network. He was a good man, a pleasure to deal with. But after the attack near South Knot City, he changed. Not that I blame him. We gave him plenty of reason to distrust us. All right. See, this trike makes it a lot easier than going on foot. Should have been doing this a long time ago. And they call it a walking simulator. I guess those people never got far enough to get vehicles. this look like walking Zap mules in the face simulator. It's true.
All right, we delivered a tablet. You really are a good guy, Sam. This is in great shape. Excellent work. One of these days I'll be less sleepy and yawning less on stream. Thanks for that, Sam. I expect I'll... Good work. New order available. Please access... Okay, now to the junk dealer. Hold on, I have to partake in the ritual. Thanks for that, Sam. Hold it. Rather hold it, why? Weapons restrictions lifted. No one wants to see that. Okay, I guess I can't contribute to the mushrooms. Alright, fine. Here's one I can contribute to. Gonna do the real important things. Oh, that caused crypto bio. It's nice. Sam got performance anxiety before. Hey, <laughs> I don't blame him. Taylor's kind of this way. Oh, there's a bunch of lost cargo here going to Crater Lake. Drive safely and wear your seatbelt, Salania. What's up? Hey, Zard Train. I hope you're doing well. Also, we're making the rounds. We're doing all right. Express. Not to mention the bridges assholes who had to go and kick the hornet's nest. 
Whatever. Let's see the goods. You make good time. Like you're supposed to. That's your job, isn't it? Damn, rude. All right, can we get a connection level two, please? No, we cannot even get a connection level one. That's okay. I was already an elite transporter. All you porters are no better than terrorists. Yet you still and hired us to move your stuff. Wise. So take your cupid and fuck off. Well, okay then. Something tells me that if we want to win him over, we need to figure out what really happened to that woman in the hologram. Uh, he seems to think she died in the attack. But we checked South Knot City's records, and there's no death certificate for a woman matching her description. Which is why I asked Fragile to look into the it. bomb in his next cargo? I'm hey, sure sir. that's going to make it even worse. I was looking through my old client database. On the off chance, I might find our mystery woman. And wouldn't you know it, a pretty close match popped up. Facial and voice. She's still alive. Our junk dealer's grieving for nothing. I doubt he'll take our word for it, though. Hang on. He just posted another order. Probably just trying to push our buttons. May as well check the delivery terminal and see what he wants. Good work. New order available. Please access the... Cargo collection from a BT area. 60 kilograms or more. Good work, new order available. Yeah, it sounds like a suicide mission. South Knot City Ruins. PT, I hardly know her. Or is it hardly know he? <laughs> Old components, okay. Well, I guess we'll do it. I'll probably need some more chematic grenades though, so we'll do we'll grab some more of that. Oh, I can't make any stuff here. All right, guess we're going in with what we've got. Thanks for nothing, junk dealer. Oh, that's right. There was also a uh, mail about another companion cube. Northwest of the distribution center, south of Lake Knot City. Okay. So we'll keep an eye on that. Hey, hey, McSauce, welcome in. How goes the delivering? Pretty good, except this junk dealer wants us to risk ourselves for who knows what. Don't they all? Yeah, but this one's got an attitude, which makes it worse. 
Free parling. Next right. I wonder what parling means. All right, let's see how this works. All right, so we're looking for 60 kilograms of components. We can do more than better, but that's our minimum. Hey, thanks for lurking. I hope you're well. Good to see you. Hey, that's a pretty good special roll. You beat the average. <laughs> that's a lot of ones, my Koshi. That's a very min-max. Where's the max perception? Look, no perception, someone's getting a rake to the face. <laughs>
Well, that was exciting. So that's technically enough. Let's see if we should try to grab some more before we leave. This would be a great place for a safe scum if this game works that way. I want to do right by this junk dealer, so I want to try to get a little more than the minimum requirement. I already have slightly more than the minimum, but even more would be good. Show Bob stepping on rakes, Jeff. Keep it down, Sam. Oh, that's a big boy right there. A hundred. That's probably good there. Bean, thank you for the hydrate. Evening, how are we? We're doing pretty good. I hope you're doing all right. Alright, let's get back on the reverse trike. Look at this mountain of gear we collected. <laughs> BB looks happy. Nice. Three likes received from BB. Once you learn to read your Ultra deck, knowing how close you can get getting around BTs isn't too bad, right? I'm sure there's stuff that makes it harder later on, but that was fairly manageable. We didn't even have to fight the Sharktopus. It's called the Reverse Strike, but you're driving forward. Curious. Weapons detected. All weapons will be 
All right, I got your stuff. You should be happy to see it. She seems happy. Let's see how we did. The cargo was not damaged. That's good. We got all seven pieces. Uh, I was hoping we'd get an S Legend rank. You know, those ruins you went to wouldn't be ruins if Fragile hadn't fucked us over. Bridges, too. All that talk of rebuilding the country. It's just stirring folks up. My girl would still be alive if it wasn't for you people. She was there. When the terrorists tried to take out South Knot, she was already dead. Because of you. He's wrong. She's in a shelter southeast of the ruins. Mind if I take over? If he's not coming outside, then it doesn't matter who he yells at over the wire. And I'm guessing he'll feel better taking it out on me. Ooh, let's go, Fragile. Hey, Bridges. Fragile says my girl's alive. And I'm just supposed to believe her? After what she did? Hell no. You're gonna need to prove it. And there's only one way out. I'll give you something to take to this woman you found. She says it's hers. You bring her back here to me. Take this with you, too. It's a skeleton I made that improves stability and mobility. Threw together some of the parts I've got lying around. Just so we're clear, I'm only giving it to you because I want to make absolutely fucking sure you complete this delivery. If my girl's still alive, then when she sees what you're carrying, she'll want you to bring her here. You do right by me. I'll do right by you. Simple enough. Good work. New order available. Sam. Take a look at the delivery terminal. It's my cargo looking. It's looking pretty rough from the outside. These metals are almost gone. I should see if I can recycle them. Oh, can't recycle here. Can put him in my private locker. <laughs> I 
Hourglass delivery to Chiral Artist. All right, the Chiral Artist Studio. According to the junk dealer, the Chiral Hourglass is extremely fragile. And that kind of cargo is best carried by hand. All right, carrying it by hand. That's a little something from the junk dealer. Sam, that active skeleton is built for speed. It's designed to augment muscle movement, enabling you to travel faster. There's even a boost function if you really need to hustle, but it'll eat up battery about as fast as you eat up the ground. To think he made a thing like that out of junk, talent like his shouldn't go to waste. I see. Okay, so I've got, um, like, power skeletons. Yeah, I've got power skeletons, which increase how much uh, I can carry, and then speed skeletons, which make me faster. Just notice the title, excellent as always. I'm glad you like it. All right, we head out. Ash, thank you for the hydrate. Hope you're well. Tag, how you doing? Howdy, howdy, how goes the walking simp? Very good. Oh, I have to hold it? Okay. Hey, Ash, welcome in. And Tag as well. Speed boost helps you jump those cliff gaps in that one area. You do a super mega human jump, which is just kind of funny to see. Maybe we'll get to see that in a moment. I like this game conceptually, but you're certain you're far too impatient for this. Yeah, we've put... Uh, man, we're probably 20, 25 hours into it so far, and it's been a lot of walking and a lot of delivering stuff. And delivered because can't have you driving your bike all over, basically. you're gonna be the same but the game sucked you in totally it's honestly it's been really interesting to play i mean this is now day six in a row of playing it without playing something different Fair enough, you're still hard stuck on Fallout 4. Yeah, how's your run going? You're doing permadeath all DLCs, right? Thinking about making a damageless guide? Okay, very cool. I'm gonna lie, permadeath all DLCs has shown that you are too impatient. That's surprising to me, considering the things you have completed. So when am I finishing Mass Effect Andromeda? Uh, likely never. A thousand subs and I finish Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> Lost the past three runs to three-head decision-making because you assumed you were much harder to kill. I see.
Yep, looks like I'm still going the right way. Ash, thank you for gifting a sub to Kian. I appreciate that. Only 999 to go. Oh, for real, thank you, though. Finger is getting tired of holding down the right mouse button to carry this package. <laughs> you have to hold right mouse the entire time to carry something in your right hand. Is that it? That looks like that's it up ahead. Ooh, I'm zooming. I'm zooming. Fast as fuck, boy. What am I, some kind of low-rate porter? No, I'm an expert porter. Two and a half stars, let's go. You've been awarded the title of Master Transporter. None can deny your indomitable strength of will. Howdy, Todd. Welcome in. Now it'll be harder for you to lose consciousness. Awesome. I'm on the one and only chiral network now. That's wonderful. Dude, I yeah, love not blacking well. out. Same. It's one of my favorite things to do. Not black out. Blacking out is the waking up afterward that sucks. I don't know that I have ever blacked out. I've been put under for anesthesia and stuff, but I don't think I've ever just blacked out. I've come real close when uh, having blood drawn, but thankfully I stayed conscious. That part still sucked, though. Anti-BT handgun.
You'll drop by again, won't you? Take me with you. Please. I have to see him again. I made this for him, you know. When the terrorists attacked, my mother and I barely escaped with our lives. I tried to find him afterwards. I did. I just didn't know where to look. But that's not why I stopped. Backed out three times, twice from booze and once from exhaustion. My mother never liked him. She made that pretty clear. But I didn't think she'd go as far as to lie. So when she said that he died, I believed her. And you heard that message. It's him. It's really him. I should never have given up. Deep down, I knew he was out there somewhere. But I couldn't leave my mother all around. So I tried to make my peace with it. <sighs> Only I couldn't. Not even if I do wanted to. I was stuck in the past. Unable to move on. Take me to him. I'm begging you. I'm ready to go. Right now, if we want. Just say you take me. We should do it. Dude, she hasn't fortified her dome blackout stat. <laughs> that there's a handgun configured to fire hermetic rounds. Bullets loaded with your own blood. Should do some damage to any BTs you come across. The gun draws blood from your body, or any bags on hand, to fill its cartridges when in use. Length of the trigger pull determines the amount loaded into the next round. Longer pulls mean more blood and more potential damage to the BT on the receiving end. Just don't drain yourself dry by accident, okay? As you know, you'll be transporting a living human being for a change. It goes without saying that any falls or heavy impacts sustained may result in injury to your client. So proceed with caution, now more than ever. What am I losing? Climbing anchor and floating carrier, that's okay.
Damn, Trips returns wife to husband. Pretty sure she was broken before. I found her like this. Wasn't me. I hold the hourglass. I don't want it to break. No way you could zip me up in a bag like that. I'd get too claustrophobic. Didn't mark her fragile, so she may have gotten tossed around. <laughs> oh, her face can see out. Okay, that's better. From here, I think. I wonder if I can use the safe house. Wait, bubbles up in a spread. That's how you can tell. It'll swallow you up if you're late. It's bottomless. Our soul claim the folks who use these places to dispose of Coralium contaminated waste, huh? Sadly, you leave your gear behind since you can only carry her. It looks like I got a little bit of, uh, deer, uh, gear. What in the Demon Slayer is going on? <laughs> I haven't seen Demon Slayer, so I, uh, I don't, I don't know the context. But how you doing, Sparkle Nerd? Ah, I cannot fragile jump. You have a companion with you. You'll need to finish up your business with them first. Okay. He carries his sister on his back. Oh, I see. Doing well. So good to hear. Hello, hello. Who uses places to dispose of terrarium contaminated waste and bodies too? If you don't have time to burn them, there's always the tar. Using the tar to get rid of bodies, huh? You can just imagine her sitting there on a shelf waiting for you to continue. <laughs> Get a bunch of Thanks likes for, for this ladder. Wow, 143,000 likes for this bridge. That's more than everything I've done in the game. Multiple times over. This one's for you. The thing you've seen was a bridge in the middle of nowhere with 450,000 likes. It's got to be a meme thing. Who gives likes? Other players. They got a flat plane, so it had no reason for people to like it. It's kind of like Dark Souls in that way. Uh, you can give likes to things that other people have built that you benefit from.
Well, this is pretty chill. I guess I should be talking a lot more so that hopefully I can talk over the music and not get muted. So, uh, how's everybody's day? What y'all up to? I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, uh, Corallium here. Got a lot of Chiral Crystals, actually. It's good, I'm gonna need them for stuff. It's been good, Fallout 4 note-taking, very nice. Gonna do some YouTube stuff on it with the guides and stuff. Been playing Nightingale most of the day, how is that? So much of my friends list is playing it. If they're not playing Helldivers, they're playing Nightingale. Kojima did pick a solid soundtrack, very emotive and good for traversing terrain. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty good, decent survival game, still a bit glitchy, but that's expected, I see. I guess I don't play a ton of the survival type games, and that's why that didn't super appeal to me. I still haven't played Enshrouded either. Plan to make a comprehensive video for Fallout 4 No Damage, and you might make some shorts for guides for No Damage uh, completing specific locations. I think that'd do well. That'd be very cool. Like the Fey Realm vibe, the scenery and creatures are pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a part of it. Hello, delivery. I have a person for you. From the like 20 minutes you've watched of Nightingale so far, it looks kind of like higher res Valheim, which I also never played. working. I thought about fixing it, getting the sand flowing again. But it felt too much like moving on, like forgetting you. Well, now I can both move on, together, you and me, if you're ready. Of course. <laughs> the man I knew. They took pedal junk. He fixed the things, made them like new again. Picking up the pieces and making the most of them. That's what I do best too. But this is one piece we don't need. <laughs> oh. The only time that matters is the time I spend with you. So let's count some moments ourselves together. Together. I'm asking you to marry me, dummy. I will. I do. Yes. <laughs> One other thing. What? 
Don't hate mom, please. That's gonna be harder. This is what we want. Help her to understand and accept it. Because she needs us, and I need her. All right. I'm pretty good at patching things up. Stay quiet on that one, yeah. <laughs> well, now we better patch up a ring. They've also thrown out some familiar names of people you're assuming you'll meet later in the game, like Nelly Bly, a real journalist, and Alan Quartermain, a fictional explorer. So you're looking forward to that? Yeah. Nice. Level two, so we're going to have this one on the network as well. Human delivery. I got 30 likes for delivering a human. I feel like that's pretty cheap. Sorry, I was such an asshole. I treated you and Fragile like shit. Yes, you did. I'm going to try and make a fresh start with my girl. And though I can't do half of what you people do out there every day, I'm ready to pull my weight. If you need anything fixed, I'm your man. The UCA can count on me. It'll take some getting used to, but it's past time. We will join the UCA's network. Nice. I won't let you down. I swear. I'll never forget you. Thank you. <laughs> that was a cool little hologram thing and 200 likes. <laughs> One like received from Sam. That's nice. Strand established. Sam, that whole region is connected to the Cairo network now. Head for the next area. To connect South Knot City, you'll need to make a delivery from Lake Knot City. Huh? Not sure I follow. Why not just get them on the network? Let them print what they need. Because you can't print everything. You do know that, right? Hey, Meek the Creep, welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow. That blood of yours that's proven so effective against BTs? None of that can be sent by the network. Only the old fashioned. Okay, I won't mention it. The people of South Knot have been struggling ever since the last attack. Now, if they're to survive, they'll need all the supplies Lake Knot can spare. Head back there and pick up the order. We're never here, got you. By the way, who? Sometimes you might find yourself traveling home empty handed, right? Wasted trip, I say. Make the most out of it by making sure you've always got an order on your back. For instance, one just came in from the junk dealer. A joint request from him and the Cairo artist, looks like. I think it'd be in everyone's best interest if you took it on. Someone just stopped by, I don't see anyone. Tent. I don't know what you're talking about. Same people who have Heads been up, here. Sam. I'm detecting abnormal Cairo levels to the north of South Knot City. The numbers indicate heavy time fall in the area. It appears to be some kind of storm, but nothing like anything I've ever seen before. Though, truth be told, I can't actually see it either. The storm should be right outside my lab, but with the baby, I'm in no position to investigate. Makes sense to you. Yeah, me too. Yet, but 
Would you mind looking into it for me? Just be sure to keep your distance, all right? Have to go get some sleep now. It's almost 4 a.m. Have a great rest of stream. Have a good rest, Vigilia. Always good to see you. Appreciate you. Of course. Distribution center south of Lake Knot City. Yes. Okay, hold on. We might not be done here yet. You can use those little darlings to stun your enemies and give yourself some breathing room. Just equip and toss. They'll trigger on contact. They deliver a shock that should incapacitate every living thing within the blast radius. Living only, though. They won't do you any good against BTs. Whose idea was it to put these things in a bunch of small containers instead of one larger container? Okay, hold on. We're not quite done yet. That'll be a start. This isn't looking so good. Timefall's really got it in a bad way. I don't even want to stop for that because I don't know how long my trike's gonna last. Time fall, that's not good. Ah, oh, I received mail that the artist and the junk dealer got married. Let me 
scanner ping negated. Very nice. Requested cargo. We've got all of it. Looked it up, but got distracted like eight times. Timefall as a concept came from a scene of a movie called The Devil's Rain when a man's face melts when he is hit by the ray. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. That's pretty cool. That's metal. Come a long way. Hope your cargo held up as well as you. Looking good. Looking good. Yes, you were the right man for the job. Why do you sound surprised? Backpack customization, all right. Kojima said in an interview in 2014 that he tried to watch at least one movie a day, sometimes more. Dude is a major cinephile. Wouldn't be surprised if they got the concept from that movie. Very cool. I know he rates, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Kojima who rates movies on Twitter. And uh, if, he, if he doesn't like a movie, the only thing he will say is, I watched this movie today. But if he does like a movie... He'll print, like, a whole post about it, the things he liked, its place in cinema, like, just paragraphs and paragraphs of praise. So you know he really d doesn't like a movie when he posts, I watched this movie today. It's, like, the worst review you can get. Twitter says this body is made up of 70% movies. Contract has already been made, and you'll find the pouch in your private room. If you want to customize your backpack, you'll need to drop by one anyway. Anyway, I hope you appreciate what those two did for you, and give this new gear a try. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Sewing kit delivery to cosplayer? Is the collector the cosplayer? That seems like the collector's place. Yeah, let's do that. Trip 
retrieval sticky guns. Cargo recovery from a mule camp. Shh, indeed. I can now make a truck. Someone's been spotted? Who? Metal Gear Solid sound. Trek was beat to hell. Yeah, it was. I left it in the time fall. Order assigned. Your work is greatly Customize my pack, eh? How do I do that? Ah, here we go. Customized backpack. Nice grenade pouches and extra batteries. Twitch is all kinds of weird for you today. Huh. That sounds a lot like Twitch, though. How you doing, Maiko? Hope your day's well. You tried to blurp, and the blurp didn't blurp. Did you pay for the blurp? He got ripped off. Never asked you to confirm, just sat there thinking. Well, at least you didn't pay for it. I just sit there thinking sometimes. I pass hours that way. Maybe he makes modem sounds. <laughs> I 
I put on that bed. Pretend you heard a very high quality rendering of King Boo cackling. Thank you for the blurb, Maiko. No matter what. We still know nothing about Matt Mickelson's character beside these vague cutscenes. Yeah, he seems to be tied to BB somehow. But other than that, I don't think we do know. That's an interesting emote. All right, uh, we're not gonna do the sticky gun retrieval yet. First, we're gonna go see the collector, see if the collector is the same person as the cosplayer. No, the cosplayer is someone different. Okay. Oh, the collector's got a bunch of orders available now. All right, let's let's build the truck and we'll get the uh, we'll get the thing. Have you been today still enjoying baby transport? Yeah, the game's still going well. I've been doing all right. I'm waiting for my appointment Friday to get my meds and hopefully feel a little more awake. Stop sleeping all day, but other than that, I've been good. How about you? Truck, we got a truck. I should take the uh, other mission too if I didn't. Ooh, I can change the color scheme. There we go. Actually, let's do that in reverse. So many purple trucks with green hoods because <laughs> Joker. I guess this game does make a profound statement about how we live in a society. You, you're fine. Got some more super cool glass bottles and a sweater at the thrift store. Now you're chilling and doom scrolling to the sound of stream. I like to think I'm everybody's ideal doom scrolling companion. I'm interesting enough to give you something to, uh, something to stimulate your brain aside from the doom that you're taking in. 
but I'm not so distracting that I make you stop your scroll. The sticky gun is a weapon that launches an adhesive projectile. Gun and projectile are connected by a wire which can be engaged to pull in targets. It's strong, too. Could support up to several dozen kilos. You can use it to secure cargo at a distance. Right out from under a mule's nose, maybe. You're a clever guy, so... Aww, I'm, sure I'm a clever a guy. Patients. Just comes down to how creative you can get. Now that you think about it, you do doom scroll quite frequently when listening to my history. <laughs> Familiar and engaging, but not intrusive. That's the way we like to be. Remember, friends, when the doom scrolling gets to be too much, you can always come chat here and put your mind on something else. I know doom scrolling can be a little overwhelming. Did a lot of it during the pandemic. Wow, I almost rolled this already. Truck, we finally got a truck. Brother, there are times when you don't even remember what okay. you've been looking at for the past half hour. Social media is so bad for that. You know what's the worst is YouTube Shorts, uh, Instagram Reels, or is it Facebook Reels, uh, TikTok, whatever TikTok calls their stuff. TikToks, I guess. Anything that's like super short form and it just comes to you in a feed, it can just go right into your eyes and right back out. YouTube shorts are the worst for it for you. Yeah. I rarely watch them, but when I do, I watch an hour and a half of them and then don't remember anything I just consumed. Oh, that is a mega jump. Hate that format so much. Yeah, I'm not a big fan either. As you might have guessed. Watch out, folks. We gotta deliver some stuff to a cosplayer. I'm in, uh, I am needed. You got you on TikTok, you scroll through for a bit and then wonder whether it was, uh, worth your time. The cosplay Chotaro, I wish. Yeah, I don't even have a TikTok. When somebody sends me a TikTok to watch, I have to uh, open it in a browser window and click through all the please sign in stuff to watch it. Imagine being a cosplayer living on the side of a mountain. Norman Reedus delivering your props to you. That would be living your best life. Hate when people share Instagram or TikTok links. It's your old in the internet is your lawn. Yeah, I much prefer links that uh, you can actually access with a web browser and not need an app. But I'll send Twitter links to people, so... You know, I might be a little bit of a hypocrite. I still feel like Twitter is a little more friendly if you don't have an account and a little more web browser friendly. You're sharing a TikTok, you download it directly if you can to avoid just that. That makes you very considerate. I 
I have an Instagram, but these days I don't use it for anything other than liking and commenting on a few friends' posts. <laughs> Probably doesn't help their visibility because I'm not an Instagram consumer, but I like to think it does. Okay. Should do something constructive? What are you feeling? Draw something. Sounds good. Oh, there's an auto paver out here. Am I on the chiral network? Can't tell. It's got zero supplies loaded into it, so probably not. I'm gonna go with no. Alright, we're almost at the cosplayer. No more doom scrolling with that, it's drawing with that. I support this. Noctum body doubling. Sorry, BB. Get it together. Currently stitching with ad for you. have a discord channel for all the neat little things we do while we watch stream let me think about how i want to implement that <sighs> deliver requested cargo sewing kit sitting on your took us a wait in 7 a.m yeah when you get off 7 a.m Almost enough to get us on the network. And it's happening on the other side of the screen. Someone's just going to post a recording of their social feed that they're scrolling. To my partner, he gets all excited and starts talking about how much he wants to meet you. He's pretty interested in the chiral network too. Totally on board with it and everything. But... I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around it. I guess what I'm saying is that I'm okay with trying it out, just without any of the extra strings, if that's an option. If it is, then would you mind doing the honors? Cool, we're on the network now. Okay, maybe it doesn't have to be a whole ass channel. You can always post it in the art channel. We have one of those, right? I think we do. What if someone did a five to six hour recording of a close up of their face staring and reacting to stream? I would watch 30 seconds of it, laugh, appreciate the effort, and then not engage with it anymore if we're being honest. Thanks for making the trip. I've always wanted to meet you. 
I know Wait. what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head? Or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> well, both. Actually, the otter's a member of the weasel. Thought it was Conan. <laughs> I have weasels in my family, but enough about my brother. <laughs> What's up, kind? Man, you are tough. Hey, did you know that otters can survive without land? Oh, yeah. They eat, sleep, even give birth all in the water. The only thing they can't do in the water is drown. <laughs> Such good swim swimmers, they. Okay. Wow. You laugh about as much as this guy. <laughs> hey, by the way, you should have this. It'll help you on your way. Yeah, don't worry about me. I've got an otter one. Come on. Come on, otter one. That's pretty good. Come on. Oh, man, you're the only audience I've had in like 12 years. I'd like to unsubscribe from Otter Facts with Conan O'Brien, specifically the last part. Bro, actually so excited to get Pacific Drift to Drive sometime. I know the, um, the demo was really good. 11 out of 10 game right here. Look at it. Yeah. What is it with otters today having a glitch in the Matrix? Somebody really wants you to see some otters. It's otterly shocking. It's giving you an otter hood. By the way, that hood was threaded by the hand of my cosplay partner. And she's amazing. It's triple stitched. That's got silk. She's incredible. Wear it, and you too can ride the river rapids without fear. <laughs> Unless you're afraid of looking too sexy. <laughs> oh, right? Really? Still nothing? You know what? Fine. Just go. Just go, okay? Yeah, and make the river your friend. That'll be fun. Good work. New order available. Please access... Love going <laughs> Skill up, loved it. Love his perspective, so it must be a genuinely good game. Not somebody I'm familiar with, but I liked what I saw. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. Conan do be neat, not quite Craig Ferguson, but almost. Who's Craig Ferguson? I think Ferguson will always be your favorite host. Yeah, another person I'm uh, not familiar with. I delivered so much to this auto paver and it's still not done. I really need to get the collector on network. This late night host since Carson. Rip late late show. Yeah, I never watched any shows like that, honestly, growing up. Or even now that I am grown up, I never watched any shows like that. I haven't had cable uh, or, like, standard satellite TV in, like, I don't know, 12 years. Still growing up. I guess we're all still growing up. We don't really grow down. You watched the VODs of what? The Late Late Show? I think the last time you watched regular TV was like 2021, and that was because you were staying at your mom's house, right? Got Conan late nights shown here for some reason. I mean, Conan was pretty good. Hey, Leno as well. Craig Ferguson was also in the Drew Carey show. Yeah, never seen that. They post them on CBS.com after they aired. Oh, sorry, kind. Yeah, we have links blocked for, you know, link reasons, but I was able to read what she said.
weather has not cleared. The weather has not cleared. Doc Critz, welcome in Raiders, how y'all doing? Grits, welcome in. You were doing The Last of Us Part 2. That's right. I did see that in the Discord. Doc, feel free to share with us uh, how your stream went. Tell us a little bit about yourself, games you play, the vibes you have, anything like that. Uh, anything you'd like to share with the people here. Raiders, if you don't know me, I'm Ed Noctum. I'm a variety streamer. I like a variety of games. I like to focus on single-player, story-based games. So a lot of RPGs. We do some action, horror, um, Souls-like shooters, just a little bit of everything here. Today we're playing Death Stranding, and it is my first playthrough. Very interesting little game we have here. And that's a little bit about me and what you can expect to see from the channel. Thank you for that raid. Thanks for following it over. If anybody's got a dip after that raid, totally understand. If anybody needs to raid and run, rest, relax, decompress, take care of chores, do what you gotta do. Uh, know you are welcome here to hang out as long as you like, but never expected. Doc, how was your stream? Welcome in, the real AF2. Hope you're well. Sorry I had to step away for two seconds. No worries. No worries at all. Nothing to apologize for. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. We got the game. Hey, thanks for that follow, too. Welcome to the channel. Great. Loving the sequel. I never played it myself. I only watched it on YouTube. I did play the original myself and really enjoyed it. Uh, okay, so this part here... This whole area is not on the Chiral Network until I get around to leveling up the Collector. How you liking this game? It's really good. I really recommend it. Can I jump? I can. I'm unstoppable. Not really. I could very easily be stopped. Yeah, if you don't mind a lot of walking and stuff, um, that's kind of the point of the game is you deliver stuff. It's a very good game. Very weird story. Great atmosphere. It's generally enjoyable. Oh no, I fell. Chris four to equip your otter hood. <laughs> Anybody hear me? Oh, that's five. <laughs> I love that. Come here, BB. Don't cry, I have an otter on my face. The little hands come out and hold your cheeks. Is that what you're delivering? No. BB stays with me. And the otter hood we just got from Conan O'Brien. That's not even that's not even a joke. I'm not making that up. We just got the otter hood from Conan O'Brien. Nobody puts BB in the corner. Nice. 
Yeah, right. How did Conan O'Brien give an otterhood? You just don't know anything about the struggles of otterhood, Christopher. You shouldn't judge. Can you quote that, or is that a spoiler? Uh, what do you think? Like, it's a pretty great quote, but also, yeah, it, it kind of might give something away. Okay, the collector is up here a bit. It'll sound when it folds back, so cute. Can redact the spoilers then I feel like the quote doesn't uh, make sense you know what I mean you can always mask it with that late night host yeah I don't know I feel like that that doesn't really make sense then at that point collector collector Not making this up, we just got redacted from redacted. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Funny, though. Should work for the control, folks. Very control. Yeah, you guys had the same thought. Is this the SCP Foundation or the Bureau of Control? Okay, let's uh, let's grab some of these. We'll pick them up in the truck. I could druid should totally work for redacted. <laughs> Remember I met a person from Redacted and they told me all kinds of wild stories about Redacted and their favorite soup, Redacted. And now if you just add one more sentence, and then everybody died when Data expunged. You just wrote an SCP article. See, we should just have one quote that is just redacted. <laughs>
Uh oh. Are you kidding me? Of course. Well, that wasn't good. Where in any movie the bugs would come out. Hold on, are we gonna try for another one? Oh, barely made it. Okay, so we cannot really do that much jumping when we're dealing with this. Carries 500 kilograms of cargo. Why can't I jump? Do you determine how much you take? Yes. But, you know, certain jobs will require you to take a certain amount. So if you want to do the job, you have to have the limit. Timefall shelters are free repair for your cargo. Yeah, container repair, right. Your name's on that building. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. We don't do counseling here. We confront our demons literally with chainsaws and fire. That is one of the coolest drawing prompts you could have pulled out of all of the quotes. <laughs> What am I doing? The Evil Within 2 is such a damn good game. It really was. Delivery. Popular board game. Oh, Lake Knot City. Damn, that's a long way. It's all going to be sepia toned, so that's going to be interesting. How did it pull bridges from that? Because you didn't do quote search. Your argument meant nothing. Because it wasn't an accepted argument. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Nope, space between quote and search. There you go. <laughs> Adult, you swear. 
Yes, I know how to pass an argument. Mm-hmm. Silent Hill 4 offensive sound design. Think Silent Hill 3 had a few moments like that too where you wish you didn't have ears. Yes, Silent Hill 3 was bad for it. Silent Hill 3, there were whole enemies that you just hated any time they entered because of the noise they made. Silent Hill 1 and 2 were eerie, 3 and 4 were absolutely discordant and grating. I need to play 1 still on the channel at some point. I need to emulate it. That's the only way you can play it these days. 2, 3, and 4 you can play the PC version, but not 1. All right, uh, this is actually a good opportunity for me to take another short break. So I'm going to step away for a moment. I'm going to run three minutes of ads to disable our pre-roll ads for the next hour. When I come back, we've got a bunch of missions going on. Hopefully, we will be able to do these missions, get the roads built, and advance the story. So thank you all for hanging out. I'll see you in just a minute. DBD is also fun to say fast. Dibbity. Dibbity. What do you know about that skibbity dibbity? As bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Judy's hair reminds me of a rooster. Did you, did you guys just see that zombie take off into space? Funny thing is, I could not tell you how I'm running in circles. Like, as I try to think about the sequence of key presses that I'm doing, there's no way I, I could actively do it if I didn't let my brain just autopilot. Somehow it just knows. <laughs> I just caused my car to phase out of thin air and it caused a traffic accident oh no we gotta get what is the lizard account <laughs> that was a good one who was that
Thank you for hanging out. Maiko, thank you for running clips. Which, by the way, can we all congratulate Maiko Druid on making affiliate. Maiko Druid is now a Twitch affiliate, which means you can go subscribe. Founders badges are limited. You better believe that was the first thing I did. Went and subscribed as soon as I knew. But also, congratulations, Maiko. You put the work in. You prepared your stream. You deserve it. Is it rude to grab a Founders badge in between streams? I don't know. When I got affiliate, people rushed uh, to get it before I was online. That was me. Yes, it was me. I guess it depends what Maiko wants. Not gonna break up fights over them? <laughs> well then there you go. If you want one, you better get in and get it now before they're gone. You will totally nab one right now. Well, Maiko said free for all. Imagine if Maiko Druid hit her sub goal of 10 subs before she even streamed again after getting affiliate. Aw, oh, Maiko, you've been such a part of the community. People just want to see you succeed. And they like what you do. They like your space. They like the creativity. They like the cats. They like the comfort. You're 100% going to cry the next time you stream. That's only feeding people to do it more. <laughs> Enough about you. It's enough when I say it's enough. No, but really, congrats, Michael. All right, now to the collector. Gotta get him these Famitsu magazines. Such a thing as a porter on a roll, 
Your name would surely be at the top. Great, now connect to my network, please. Yeah, that gifting subs doesn't give the founder's badge and almost spiked key in <laughs> Yeah, if someone gets gifted a sub, they have to continue their sub to get the founder's badge. Okay, I see you, Collector. We're almost level two. We're gonna make this happen. Well, that was hardly worth doing. I suppose you've piqued my interest in the outside world somewhat. However, as I still have reservations concerning the UCA, I'd prefer to enter into a contract for the time being. I trust that won't be a problem. Nice! Okay, this one goes on the Chiral Network now. It's all coming together. To be honest, you have zero desire to draw a chainsaw, but you want to do the rest. Well, I mean, that's why it's just a prompt, right? That you can take it and make it what you want. Chainsaws are so fun until you get to the hilt. <laughs> Uh, yes, be our life coach. <laughs> it's done then. Excellent. I will be sure to test the connection shortly. I knew I was right to call on you. Take care. I'll be in touch. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Weapons restrictions. Keep on keeping on. Oh, nice. There's bridges here now. Oh, this is so good. I like this. It's a little safe house. Being connected to the network is awesome. This one's for you. Today's a good day. Oh, yeah, Bridges likes Bridges. <laughs> Go figure. Bridges everywhere when that's your name. Sure to like, follow, and subscribe to that bridge. Also, click the bell to get notified the next time a bridge goes up near you. Made four mistakes in 20 minutes. You think that's a sign for a break from stitching? Does it often go well stitching at 4 a.m. for you?
Rich merch exclusively on Twitch. Stitching and crocheting, you've noticed a trance like, so either it goes perfect or you're not in the zone. The flow state. Actually, you know what? We ought to get in the vehicle. Can I run this one over? What happens if I run them over? Do they die and explode? Okay, you cannot run them over. Alright, looks like we got them all. I think there were like tactical action games or something that we were supposed to get. Thank you, Maiko. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, 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 a hundred percent. Why does that feel like that would have been a prime clip? Have you almost done? Got the blood pumping, yep. Question for you slash anyone at streams you mod for, do you usually watch in regular or mod view? Regular for me. 
but I, I have a second muted tab open in mod view in case I need to click over and handle some business. Gonna grab those tactical action Metal Gear bootleg games, of course we do. I wonder if I could drive over that ladder. Oh, are you kidding me? The pen's mod view is kind of annoying, so you really only turn it on if you expect to be lifting weight that day. But if chat is wily, you go regular with mod icons. If chat is cool, you can just turn mod icons off and relax. I always have mod icons on. But yeah, I'm usually not watching in mod view. Fingered and don't want to accidentally ban someone when you're actually just stalking it. <laughs> Pretty sure I have accidentally done that from my phone before. I don't think I banned somebody, but I think I deleted a message or something. Started modding for someone for like a week now and accidentally pinned a chat instead of replying like four times. Yeah. I pretty much never use mobile if I expect to actually mod anything. Which I know is not what you were talking about, but just by way of conversation. <laughs> Excuse me. Disappear disappeared into the clip chasm and emerged victorious. Thank you very much. Chatting while driving. Thank you. The fuck is that link name? Strong, bad, strong, bad, Flamingo Craigasm. Krigasm was a word, and it's not. It's just an emote. Yeah, it is an emote. Hello. Oh, ho, ho. you certainly aim to impress, don't you? If there was such a thing as a porter on a roll, your name would surely be at the top.
It's a laugh at that pickle cucumber argument at K's and then a clip had pickle in the URL, right? <laughs> I knew I was right to call on you. Take care. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal. Weapons restrictions lifted. All right, time to hit the road. Let's get charged up here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Interesting, the indicators on the back of this truck light up when you go to turn a certain way. Do you think we need that IRL, an indicator when someone, like an automatic one when they turn their wheel uh, right or left? Vehicle looks like if the cyber truck were designed by a nine-year-old instead of a seven-year-old. Then it's too late, that's true. God, no, you rely on indicators when crossing the road, so roundabouts would be even more of a nightmare. But, I mean, they would be separate. So there's, like, one for I'm going to turn, and then one for the wheel is actually physically turning this way. are so awkward. Why is the truck so tall? Why does it almost always turn over? Also never realized how weird the word indicator looks. Well, that, that E should be a second I. <laughs> qualifications. Uh, you should probably focus on the English ones instead.
perfectly parked. Indicator? I hardly know her. The people down in South Knot City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. They've not been receiving supplies regularly either. Now, no one's starving. Not yet, but a sense of unease is spreading across the city. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. You'll also be carrying seeds, earthworm and insect protein paste, organic chemicals, and anti-BT weapons laced with your blood. None of which can be sent via a Cairo printer. A delivery will remind the citizens they're connected to the rest of the country. It will give them hope. And if you can get them connected to the Cairo network, all the better. Something's been nagging at me, though. Fragile checked in a little while ago, saying that due to some instability with the beach, she was having trouble making jumps. Until things settle down, she won't be able to help you out. Fragile oh, no fast travel, huh? Lake Knot if you want to hear the rest of the story. I marked a location on your map. Be sure to take a look. By the way, chiral density appears to be increasing across the board. We're currently looking into what kind of impact this might have on Cupid functionality. No need for you to worry about all that, though. Just keep on doing what you do best, huh? Okay, make the delivery. And <laughs> look at all those crates. Covered or something the techs have been calling sticky guns. Anyway, none of this is on you. We should have kept a closer eye on them in the first place. Let's check the cargo. Heard word Great. of another terrorist who needs Most our help. Our I've marked the location on your map. You, we've kept the damage We're trying the not to help them, Kian. Part of the year. Oh, that's a low blow, my Koshi. Oh boy, look at all those metals and ceramics. Better grab a bunch of materials. So that we can build a road. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Heck, so hard you missed the joke and now you're confused. I don't think you uh, missed it time-wise. All right, uh, ooh, deliver lost cargo. Nah, I think I'll hold on to this one. Because that the UK has a long and troubled history. Yeah.
How you feeling today? I'm doing all right. Got my appointment Friday to get more meds. I'll hopefully be better. Uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to get them. Okay, but hear me out. What if I didn't head out? Oh. Good news right around the corner. Yeah, hopefully. Hi, uh, Sam Bridges, I presume. Sorry about that. The uh, system seems to be on the fritz. Uh, one of the packages wasn't processed properly and got left out of the order. It says here the client is fragile herself. Someone double tagged it so the system couldn't tell whether it's for Fragile Express or Bridges. <sighs> Anywho, really sorry for the hold up and uh, careful. The contents are fragile. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't trust this. The guy sounds like the radio guy in Fallout. I was just thinking that. Small thermonuclear weapon. Twitch Mobile is really on one today, can't even. You're in my brain, yes. The countdown timer will start as soon as it is separated from Sam, and it will detonate... When the counter reaches zero, or when it enters South Knot City, Fragile needs to take a look at this. Alright, let's carry it on our back, because we don't want to lose this. No broken arrow incidents here. It's like we should test that. Quick saves. <laughs> Quick saves with malicious intent. Oh, you know what? I wanted to claim a bunch of chiral crystals, too. Mind if you ask if it'll take a while for them to take effect properly again? No, whenever you're off yours, uh, getting back on can be a few days of weirdness. Uh, no, the ones that I take are super fast acting. Um, I take them to sleep, and the entire dose is in and out of my system in four hours, so I have to take them twice a night. And basically what they do is get me proper sleep that my brain doesn't normally do. It forces, like, restful sleep cycles. Um, so it might take me a couple days... It's like if you're not sleeping well, one good day will get you a lot better, but it might take a couple days to catch up. Just forces REM. Actually, the opposite. Um, it keeps REM from being excessive and disordered, because with narcolepsy, you get REM intrusion in other parts of sleep that you shouldn't get, and I get very little deep sleep. So uh, it basically it forces a higher percentage of deep sleep, and it also keeps it more structured, so you're not... Because you should be, like, changing lanes, right? You should be smoothly moving from one stage of sleep into the other. If you're jerking back and forth in and out, then your brain's not really doing the proper cycles that it needs. Definitely need structure with your sleep. Yeah, you're supposed to go light sleep, and then you go into, like, a deep sleep, and then eventually you go into a REM cycle... And then usually you wake up at the end of a REM cycle, and then you go right back into deep sleep, and then into REM. 
had that issue with alcohol and pop for a long time. It took you very long for you to notice that was happening. Yeah, both of those. Um, now, because pot is uh, a REM suppressant, I know people with narcolepsy who use marijuana to manage their symptoms because it cuts down the amount of REM intrusion that they have. But on the contrary, when they stop doing it, they get REM rebound and all those symptoms come back worse. Now you're one of those weirdos who smokes all the time but has to warn people about the dangers of marijuana. I mean, you should just try your best to understand anything you take that alters your mind and how your body functions, in my opinion. Find that edibles help you get to sleep easier, but you feel worse in the morning, like your quality of sleep is worse. There can be a lot of things going on there. definitely uh, can make it easier to sleep. For me, they raise my heart rate, so uh, and I, I have issues with my heart rate as it is. So I'll fall asleep and then two hours later I'll wake up with a racing heart, so that's obviously no good for sleeping. you alive for some people is very important. Well, the truck is a little slower than the trike, but... Uh, completely unrelated, but idol singer Joe Talbot to read TV children bedtime stories was not on your 2024 bingo card. I've never heard of that band or that person. Uh, so I don't know if that's good for them. For the children. This came from the age of legalized and pot never killed anyone and stopped sending people to jail for 20 years for growing a plant. Now you have to temper that with like, but also people with uh, schizoaffective BPD exist, causes sleep issues, and yeah, tar buildup causes lung cancer, so like do your homework, basically. Nothing is for everybody. Anything that affects how your body functions can affect you differently. And there are downsides to just about everything you can consume. Uh, but I definitely, and this is one of the rare times I'll get anything that can be perceived as political. I definitely fall on the side of uh, letting adults figure out what they want to do with it. Not creating a whole second class of uh, people just for choosing to use that. Resins. I don't need resins. Well, how controversial, I know. <laughs> Adults can make choices, I know. You say that, but... <laughs> you really have to be careful with your opinions if you don't want to invite uh, controversy, and you'd be amazed what people can find to argue with.
All right, hold on. I'll be right back. I want to get a smaller metal than a thousand because I only need 500. The others will go to waste. They recommend you'll post some faves in Discord like Punky Hard Rock S, 100% good thing he's good people. For the love of God, no one tell me he's part of some big controversy. It does feel like that being a fan of people sometimes, doesn't it? Like, please, nobody tell me that he's actually done horrible things. Or said something absolutely wild. Okay, metal's 600. Firm. Claim. Load on the vehicle. All right. And yes, I know we probably need to rest in the private room so Fragile can look at the literal nuclear bomb that we're carrying. Totally get that. I'm just not doing it right now, okay? Get off my back. I like that emote. Nice. Hey, fellow adults who make decisions, post your peer-reviewed sources of cannabis facts in the Discord. Smooth as butter. Yeah, thank you for the super smooth Discord promo. All right. Um, let's go back and grab because I need... I need 200 medals. Well, I guess I need to grab 400. 
And then I need 700 ceramics, which I believe I have 800 in my trunk. So if I just grab 400 metals, then we should have enough to build this next road. Yeah, I've got 800 ceramics in the trunk, so I just need to grab 400 metals. Fear B, yeah, no worries. Goblin Rogue stabbed a lot of those in the back during mop. I have no idea what any of that means, but I'm happy for you. We're sorry that happened. Alright, 400 medals. Here we go. For the Warcraft expansion a lifetime ago, I got you. For my back from store and distractions. Welcome back. We got a truck. You could say we're trucking along. Okay. We're building roads. We got an otter hat from Conan O'Brien. Roads, yes, look at this. That road didn't go very far. Road rebuilt. Chat combo is funny given the store you went to. <laughs> hmm, let me guess. Let me guess what kind of store that might be. Okay, that worked somehow. T 
target. <laughs> Okay, so I need uh, 648 ceramics, and let's call it a thousand metals. Switch to non-smoke vape just in case it hurts your lungs. Yeah, I never liked anything in my lungs, really. Except air. Like breathing. I like breathing. Let's get together and breathe. That's <laughs> deal. Do be neat. Know how I often thought about buying canned oxygen? My parents take it with them when they travel because uh, we're from Florida and they go some high altitude places. And it's supposed to help. Water, also not in the lungs. would literally die if you didn't breathe. <laughs> I feel you on that. Pro tip, canned oxygen on Amazon is just as expensive for, per bottle as oxygen is per tank. Wow. Water in the lungs is bad unless you're a fish or an amphibian. Welcome in, Wheezy. Sparkle Nerd, thank you for gifting a sub to Christopher. I appreciate that. Made me laugh out loud. You get sub, Sparkle Nerd. Thank you so much for doing that. In fact, you can breathe and eat at the same time until you're about six months old, right? Isn't that just so weird that you just lose that ability? More about other animal babies than humans, you think? Understandable. Maybe you should work on that? Nah, it's probably fine. Honestly, same generally way easier to take care of. Yeah, I agree. Um, what's my durability look like on my truck? Oh, it's still 70%. We're good. We are so good. Technically, you can breathe and eat at the same time as an adult, but only once. <laughs> Just stare and feel scared. You don't want to hurt it. I know. I get the same way. Please don't ask me to hold it. <laughs> or them. I guess you shouldn't call a baby an it. Held a baby once and you were like screaming inside the whole time. <laughs> and then I think about the fact the fact that at my age, my parents had a seven year old me at my age. Like, what? You did what? I think it is a perfectly valid pronoun. I don't know. Some people, well, I guess it's like if it's a, if it's a specific baby. If it's a specific baby, you shouldn't be like, you probably shouldn't call it it. But like, if you're talking about the concept of a baby in general, then yeah, you can call a baby it. What did you just come back to? Uh, we were talking about uh, how awkward it is to be around slash care for slash hold human children. Called a dragon it in Sea of Stars and you felt that.
I'm gonna lose connection points with BB if it hears this conversation. <laughs> you identify closer with it than they them. I mean, that's a personal choice. Five sixty-seven. All right, let's build this road. Build the road. Build the road. Just don't feel that plural. Well, they them is perfectly fine singular. It's not negative in your head, but you get not wanting to be called that, right? You are a thing technically, but yeah, but it kind of does sound like it removes some personhood from you. Your mom was married with her first kid at your age. Meanwhile, your dad was, you think, smoking opium. <laughs> he didn't remember most of 1992. Okay. Sorry, Wentworth the Dragon. Don't see it as a reduction, more an amorphization. I can see that. But again, that's something that I think you have to elect for yourself, not something you can put on other people. Now, Bob, the builder, as well as an Amazon delivery driver. Yes, not only do we deliver the packages, we build the roads on which they're delivered. He also delivered a human. That was weird. I did deliver a human. That was kind of weird. But it's all right, because she was in love. Like, out of a human or like a pizza? Like a pizza. Put her in a body bag, still alive, strapped her to my back, and carried her. What can't you do? A living human. Yeah, we, uh, we delivered a living human. Damn it, now you want pizza? Damn it, now I want pizza. She's sitting there silently? No, she chatted a little. To keep up with the weather titles, it's rain and time, hallelujah. That might be my next title. Damn it, now we all want pizza. Pizza party at whose house? Wouldn't hate that to be honest, just watch the scenery. <laughs> Let somebody big and strong carry you. Don't want pizza, you just got out of work about 45 minutes ago. Well, the rest of us want pizza. Come to Washington, you're far away from almost everyone. Sparkle Nerd, have you thought about going to TwitchCon? I don't remember if I asked you. I feel like maybe we talked about it last year. You have not? Well, if you decide to go, and this is not to pressure you, uh, feel free to hit me up. We'll hang out. We'll get pizza. Okay, I need a thousand medals, and I need 800 ceramics. Let's hope I have that. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? We'll work on social anxiety. Honestly, I found TwitchCon was great for that because uh, I could be like, oh, I know you already. We've chatted, and now you can be my... Uh, emotional buddy system partner and we can hang out and everything is good it, it's not somebody that i totally don't know discord pizza party uh don't know what that means but you want it <laughs> can't get pizza around new york city love to get some in san diego
Almost as good as finding the party cat. Yes, we can be each other's human party cat. Isn't that like the the strongest form of support you can show somebody is to be their party cat? They're called accountability buddies, exactly. Aw, I'll be your party cat. See, that's so kind of you. Sparkle Nerd, I will sneak you treats even though I tell the owner that I absolutely will not. <laughs> Childish Brandino, welcome in. Um, hey, new to the channel and recently been playing this game for the first time. How far are you into this? I'm on episode 3. I think I am uh, pretty far in episode 3, so I think we're going to hit episode 4 pretty soon. And I'm about uh, 24, maybe? 24 hours in? It's a great game so far. Welcome. I like the thought of a cat uh, with a little birthday hat on their head. Oh, nope, that's that's not what I meant to do. Load it into the vehicle. Alright, so now we gotta plan a route that gets us to this auto paver. And I think there's uh, two ways we can approach this. We can take the highway and we can approach it this way, which might be our best bet. We might have to do the final approach on foot. I think that's gonna make more sense than uh, coming along this path. Three more quotes to 400. Almost there. Alright, let's try the highway and see if that's a feasible way to get there. So much blood, sweat, and tears. How was that only my 18th quote? Time is weird. Hey look, somebody left a truck. Timefall took away a hundred others. Here's a question, would you let, uh, would you let somebody else live your life for you? Like, let's say that, uh, you could pay somebody to go do something that you found tedious, and they would take your body, and you would basically black out as if you're sleeping, and they would go do the thing for you. Would you do this? Go to work, go to the dentist, whatever it is that you personally hate. They would do it for you in your body while you were put in a sleep mode. An unfortunate sucker that would be. Well, presumably you'd have to pay them. Feel sorry for them. But would you do it, though? Christopher, please do my fetch quest in Death Stranding. Exactly. What, you just lose time and money? Yes. That's the trade-off. Perhaps if people have bad medical treatments, but you would just feel bad for the other person, right? It only worked for you one day before asking, how do you deal with all this pain? No way, I'm out. Could be the body grinder. <laughs> be the body taker? That doesn't sound any better. At this point, it just straight up let someone take over my whole body all and get out. The deep place sounds really nice right about now. Mm, I don't remember Get Out well enough to comment on that. Other person quits first day. 
And no, they can have the body permanently or no deal. <laughs> oh, I need to pull the truck up closer. Have you seen Altered Carbon? I have not. Come on, let's roll. Total sensory deprivation sounds good. I feel like you have to have a little sensory deprivation or else you can't tell how much time is passing. Or a little, a little sensory left. You just wake up with more... If you just wake up with more debt, you'd be pissed. Okay, that's fair. It's an interesting sci-fi that goes into weird stuff like that. You really like it. You were not made for no stimulus. Right. But like a really pleasant, like, like a little bit of warmth and like a soft hum. Maybe like the faintest golden ray of ambient light like a womb <laughs> that is what i'm describing isn't it <laughs> return to mother so in a year we've had uh roughly one year we've had 238 quotes okay okay total sensory deprivation plus a silent digital clock You have internet access in like a matrix training room, then yes. This road is amazing. Wait, what do you mean road closed? No, why is the road closed? Hmm. Guess the road's not as amazing as I thought. Built a bridge, bridges. Road is no longer amazing. Yana's yeah, pretty good with solitude if you have the internet, just physically solo, you guess. I need a little bit of both. Working on it, me too. I wish I could take the people that I meet on Twitch and, like, transport them close to my city so that we could hang out. It's like, I already know what to talk to you all about. I already have a sense for your personalities. I mean, you can't, like, really know somebody over just the text chat, but still. Board games alone, too. It sounds very sad, but you like being in your own little world. As long as you found what works for you. Living here three years today, most of that time, internet's been your main way of getting through it. Stay strong. I did as a kid playing with wrestling figures, too. Not that hard to figure out. Just talk Fallout and you're a happy camper. <laughs> Be nice. I wish there were more people in person I could just talk Fallout to and they'd be chill. Remember Stretch Armstrong? I do not. Tiny plastic men slapping plastic. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Um, I think when we go into the private uh, room, I think we're going to have a conversation with um, Fragile that's maybe going to set off our next chapter. So this is a good time to wrap up. I think we're going to leave it with a cliffhanger here. I will not go into the private room tonight. I will not have that conversation with Fragile. Instead, we will do that Friday when I come back. 
Uh, we will see how the story progresses from there. No, you're not ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> If y'all want more of me, you can always chat me up in the Discord. Sad thumbs up, thank you. See you around, party cat. Just chatting, exactly, but in the Discord. Looking forward to Friday, yeah, we will see you then. Rain, thanks for being here. Key and Sparkle Nerd, my Koshi, Christopher, Wheezy, everybody, everybody. If your appointment goes well, thank you, Christopher. That will be Friday before my stream. I will not be live tomorrow. Save completed. All right. Have a great time zone. Thank you. It's midnight here, so it's getting late. Thank you for stream. Thanks for being here. Good night, fish. All right. For stream and vibes, add and all. Thank you, Kian. Uh, we got the Discord promo up. If y'all would like to keep up with the community, look at my schedules, talk about games, vote on games, share memes, hang out with us in general. Discord is a great place to have you. Would love to be there if you'd love to be a part of it. Uh, we're gonna see who's online, who we can give a raid to tonight. I'm sure there's probably lots of friends on, so we'll see who that might be. Good stream, thank you. Good night, Glass Deviant. So many friends on there are so many. Add in chat, stay awesome. Have a good one, Zarcher, and you stay awesome as well. All right, thanks for hanging out too while I uh, take a look at our raid targets. Oh, just paused my own stream. Uh, let's see. You can think of his juice as hot. <laughs> All right, we're going to raid somebody today that I don't think I've personally had the chance to raid. We're going to raid uh, Croft Cosplays. Croft uh, Cosplays every stream, you know, as their name might indicate, and is currently playing Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, uh, which I, I have not played any of the Assassin's Creed games in quite a while, but we're going to go see Croft. Uh, Croft has a lot of mutuals with us. Um, I've been over there once or twice, but not had the time to visit properly. So we'll go over, maybe meet some new friends, meet somebody that you really enjoy. Uh, raid message, we're just gonna put up an ad. Knocked him raid, lets them know who we are, where we're coming from. All of that good stuff. I want to thank you all again for being part of an awesome stream. Uh, Death Stranding has been great. I really appreciate the support. It seems like people really enjoy hanging out with Death Stranding. Uh, so I'm having a good time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity, and I hope you all are having a good time. As I always like to say, if you're here, whether you're lurking or chatting or something in between, you're contributing, you're making a difference, and I appreciate you greatly. So, until I see you again, remember, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, know that you're all appreciated, know that we'll see you again soon. Thank you all. <laughs>